MCI. Uh, we're at Karen Engineering today. Uh, I'm with Paul Trembley. My name is Tom Hornig. We're back. We're back. Uh, as we promised, uh, we did a diagnosis of the spindle down at GTI um, and showed you how to do that. Now we're going to show you how very simple it is to balance with our iPad system. So what we've got here is an Akuma spindle. Uh, it is a little out of balance. The TMAX system actually caught it out of balance. So we've come up here uh, to use the iPad to balance this spindle, and we're going to go step by step through the process to show you exactly how easy this is. Because anytime you install a spindle uh, that's been removed for maintenance, you should be trim balancing. There are trim balancing holes in the front of most 90% of spindles, right? Paul? Correct. Correct. So uh, we need to do that. Let's show you your setup really quick. Okay. So uh, we got our two. Uh, channel accelerometer that we had in the last video. We're just going to put it here right in the horizontal position. This is typically where most of the motion is coming. It's going this way more than it's going that way. The machine's holding it. I got a tachometer sitting over here set up. And I'm putting the cable down in the second hole down here and that's going to read through the cable to the, through the sensor and let us know uh, what's, what's Wireless going. right to the iPad. So why don't we start the machine, Paul, to show them how far out of balance it is, and then we'll start our process. Sure. Go ahead. You can see we're running at 10,000 RPM, and right here is the peak of that one times running speed and the angle of where it thinks the heavy spot is right now. So we're going to hit the number one button, as simple as that, and it's going to tell us exactly where the heavy spot is. And we're going to put a trial weight at that little T in that mark, and uh, that will be the next step of our process in the next take. Okay, what we've done now, and the second part is we put a trial weight call at what was that? 200, 290 degrees. 290 Tom. degrees, um, and we're going to run the spindle up again. Paul, go ahead and run the spindle up. The second, this is what we call our second run with our trial weight. Spindle is running. And as you can see now, we've, we've moved from where we were there to here, and we're going to hit the number two button. It's going to tell us, all right, we need to put 1.6 of that mile of trial weight at 23 degrees to correct the spindle, and that will be our next and final step. But we're going to take out the trial weight according to the program. Right. The trial weight comes out, and then we add that weight that we just explained. It's that simple. It's a one, two, three process. First the original run, second with the trial weight, and now it's going to be our final correction, and that'll be in the next take. All right, we are at the very final and third stage of this one, two, three process, which uh, we got our results from the trial weight, and we are now adding the correction weight, the exact weight that it told us to do at 23 degrees. So Tom, how did you know where zero was? Uh, we know where zero is because when we put that reflective tape on the tool, which is right there, on that tool, that becomes our zero point. So everything is referenced from that point. And actually on the iPad, kind of a neat tool, is I can actually use the camera to actually hold up to that spindle and know exactly where that 23 degrees is. So if I hold that up underneath the spindle, it'll tell me exactly what hole to put that in. So good question, Paul. Um, but let's, let's do our final run, see how sure. this thing goes. Absolutely. Wow. All right, good yeah. results. So we've got the one times you can see is way, way down, and all these other peaks are now coming up. And we are at the final one. We're in a 0063 from a 0204 to start. So yes, it's 10 times better. And that is about 10 times below specification. So we had a very successful uh, balancing of this spindle. And now if this spindle is installed after a repair, it is now trim balanced and vibration analyzed so we know our bearings are good, we know everything is good, and we know we're perfectly within balance right. at the high running scale. Yeah. Absolutely, and that was that, that quick. Yep, that, that quick and easy. We probably took what, maybe 40 minutes yep. total? Once you're trained, you can be trained in an hour to use this, and you can balance any spindle or any motor in the industry. Um, reach out to us at www.gtispindle.com. Or call us at 888-473-9675. Okay. Well, please reach out to us, and uh, thank you, Karen Engineering, for having us. If you have any questions, call that number or reach out to us on the web. See you again. Bye.